What's going on YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSize Studio and welcome back to your 16th Java Advanced Tutorial. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys about the concept of casting. So basically casting is actually a really easy concept to understand. We're just taking one data type, say it's um, a decimal value or a double, and we want to convert it into a whole number or an integer. And that's basically the program we're going to make today. So yeah, let's get started on this. First thing we're going to do is we're just going to, going to declare a decimal number. So let's create a double. Call it, um, I don't know, what's around me right now? Well, there's a PlayStation beside me, so I guess I could name it PS3. And let's set this equal to, I don't know, set it equal to pi, 3.14. I guess it would have made more sense to call a variable pi, but who cares? And so what if we want to convert this variable, this decimal variable, into an integer? Um, well, let's try doing that. Let's just try assigning an int. So let's call this integer, I don't know, my int. Let's si try assigning it to PS3. Is this going to work? Well, no. We get an error here and it says possible loss of precision. So essentially, whenever you get one of these errors, it's basically saying you're trying to assign a decimal number to a data type, a data type of int that's expecting a whole number. So in order to get rid of this error, all we have to do is we have to use the method of casting. Now casting, we're going to cast to this PS3 variable. So in order to do this, we're going to put down our parentheses or our circle brackets. And then inside these brackets, we're just going to put the value, the sorry, the data type that we want to convert the PS3 variable into. So we want to convert it to an integer, so we type in int. And as you can see, our errors are all gone. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to print out the value of my int now. So let's do this. S out. The value is plus my int. So if we just run this now, we get the value is 3. So as you can see, basically all this casting did was it took this variable 3.14 and basically deleted this last little part on it. Three, uh, the 0.14, it was completely wiped out of the variable and it was stored into my int. So what if we had 3.9? Is it gonna round it or is it just gonna completely delete the decimal place? Well, as you can see down here, we got another value of three. So it actually just took the 0.9 and completely deleted it. So you have to be careful with casting because sometimes you'll get a result that you don't actually want. Say we wanted a 4 here, we didn't get a 4 because when you cast um, a float to an integer value, uh, you basically lose the whole decimal place. So in order to, to avoid this, or if you wanted a 4, you would have to use the math library and use a function to round up. Um, so yeah, this is the basics of casting. I'm going to go into casting a little bit more in depth, probably in the next tutorial. I'm going to go, I'm going to use, I don't know if it'll be in the next tutorial, but it'll be in another tutorial. And if you guys have any questions, I'll s just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer them. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one.